Hello, this is Edward Joe's Gaming Electronics, and as we've seen multiple comments about doing an MS port video for your Sony XM4s, we decided finally we'll get, get you guys a video and the tools you'll need for this, tweezers and some kind of prying tool. You can use something like this, or we have other ones available, and you can actually use a butter knife as well. All you gotta do is hop open your ear pads, just get into the side there, pop up. Once you get one side, the rest basically pops off. Boom, place that aside. There's your MS port. Best way to tell your MS port is bad is you have when your ANC noise cancellation is on, you have a buzzing sound. That's the number one issue. And this is the number one fix for that issue. It's very common with the XM4, sadly, mainly for people who use these headphones for the gym. And the way you can tell which one is bad is when you pop this off, you can sometimes see residue in there or if it's a little bit wet, you know you've sweated and that's bad. Or when you pop this up, you can tell from underneath if you try moving around this little mesh that sits on top and if it just slides off, the glue that was holding it down got soaked and it pops off. So this is a good MS port, but we'll replace it for the video. Pretend this thing's all nasty. You also need a soldering iron because you will have one and two soldering points to take off. And while my soldering iron heats up, you can do this two ways as well. You can grab a small, small, small piece of tape, place it somewhere here where you are able to place this down to hold it in spot so you can solder off. That is the easiest way to do it. You can use a vice grip. You know, if you have one just randomly around your house, you can use a vice grip or you can do what I do and just makeshift this find a good spot where it sits grab your soldering iron make sure your tip is nice and clean use the soldering iron to press down while with the tweezers you pull up and boom you have taken off your ms port and let's say you get a new ms port these are xm3 ms ports but they work exactly the same and they're interchangeable but they do not have a plus and minus, so you don't know which side is plus and minus. Quick way to tell is you can see on both of these that the solder points sit a little higher on one of the sides. Like on the M M XM3s, they sit up here. On the XM4s, they sit a little bit in the middle, but they're higher to the top. That way you know this is right, this is left. If you look at it like this, where it's facing you forward like this, up top is right, left, just how you would look at it. Now we can place this down here. And you just want to slide them back on. This is where a piece of tape or vice grip does come in handy because sometimes it's a pain in the butt. But just in case you don't got anything like that available, I just want to show you could be done without that. that got both your points soldered on this point's a little crooked but that does not matter as long as it's on there and has connection then you just place it back down how you got it tuck the wire in place that on top like that tuck the wire in how it's supposed to be and then you place your ear pad back on and now you have replaced your xm4 ms port Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, comment down below. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.